So you want to find out about the cost of living in Oklahoma City? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Landon Witt, and I've been a realtor here in Oklahoma City for over seven years now. I'm going to bring up a few points that I think matter most about the cost of living and put some slides on here. And after, I'll show you a little bit about what the locals are saying here. The cost of living in Oklahoma City is 2% lower than state average, but 14% lower than national average. Compared to national average, the housing is 27% lower, utilities are 4% lower, food is 10% lower, healthcare 2% lower, transportation 7% lower, goods and services 10% lower. Let's break that down exactly what does this mean? Your median home price is coming in at about $296,000, your median rent $905, your energy bill $163, your phone bill $180 a month, which sounds high to me, gas $4.14 a gallon, that's come down since this stats, so we know that, food and grocery, a loaf of bread $3.12, gallon of milk $1.99, carton of eggs $1.41, bunch of bananas $3.02, hamburger $4.27. Healthcare in Oklahoma is 4% lower than the national average. Breaking that down to a doctor visit comes out to be about $112. A dentist visit, $96. Optometrist visit, $104. Drug prescription, $449 average. And a veterinary visit for the pets coming in at $49. You wanna know where the highest cost of living places are in Oklahoma? Take a look at this heat map. This shows you where the highest neighborhood values are, i.e. highest monthly payments, or you know, yeah, you can have it paid off, but you're still paying taxes, right? So the darker the area on this chart is the higher the value or higher the cost of living due to taxes and, and, and mortgages and that kind of thing. As you can see, the majority of Oklahoma City, which is the downtown's right smack in the middle of this, you can see there's a, there's a blue deal there that says Bricktown. Um, right there is the middle of downtown. Most of the city is affordable. It's actually quite fantastic. So where does this mean relative to maybe popular cities that you may be coming from or cities that I've had customers come from? Uh, well, let's take if you were to make $50,000 a year, that's a good metric we use for cost of living research across America, because typically between 40 and $60,000 per year is what the average indi you know, individual median income is for someone living in the United States. So we take $50,000, Check this out. Dallas coming to Oklahoma City to maintain the same cost of living at that $50,000 salary, you only need to make $41,000. The cost of living in Oklahoma City is 16.3% lower. What about Orlando? 12.8% lower and 22% lower housing. Los Angeles, that one's up there, 42% lower. The equivalent of $50,000 in income in Los Angeles, you'd only have to make $28,000 here to live like you did over there on $50,000. Now, Denver, Colorado, another popular city, $38,000 is what you'd have to make to have the equivalent of $50,000 in Denver. The cost of living being 23.7% lower with a housing 46% lower. That's a big, uh, savings there so and that's pretty much it in a nutshell we could go all the way deep into different metrics but it's really not important those are the basic facts to know but before you go i'm going to roll some clips of what the locals have to say about living in oklahoma city it's very vibrant it's very um dynamic it's changing all the time i love it it's very well said i, I couldn't say it any better I moved to Oklahoma City a year ago from Baltimore, Maryland, and I, all my East Coast friends were saying, how could you do that? And they have no idea how amazing this city is. From the thunder to amazing festivals, incredible music scene, great restaurants, and a super low cost of living, I would tell everybody in the other parts of the country, you should move to Oklahoma City. In the last few years, there's been a lot more traffic than there used to be, uh, so that's kind of cool to see more people out and about. Um, we were walking earlier 
here at the Myriad Gardens and saw people doing yoga over on the steps and that was a lot of fun. I love being in Oklahoma City because of all the growth and change that's been happening. I think it's an exciting time to be here. To be here. So I'm relatively new to OKC, but I've really enjoyed how close I can be, not just to my friends, but to restaurants and businesses where I live now. I'm walkable distance from bars and that's a big difference for me. I mean, not just, she's sorry, my friend's laughing at me. It's, uh, <laughs> It's not that I need to walk to bars, but that wasn't an opportunity where I lived previously. It's a really great place to come visit. Um, like I said, great to come eat at because we have no saturation of any place and lots of innovative places to eat. And we have amazing celebrations that we now get to enjoy at the Myriad Gardens. So come to Oklahoma City, it's amazing. Hey there, I work in uh, Midtown, Oklahoma City. It used to be a pretty small little segment of downtown, but it's really, really growing. Um, there's a lot more walkability in certain neighborhoods in Oklahoma City, and that's really cool. And each individual neighborhood is, has a ton of cool restaurants, ton of cool retail, and just even doctor's offices, like random things like that. And it's really growing a sense of community in the city, I think, and I, it's only gonna get better from here. Living in Oklahoma City is a tight-knit community full of friends and family where um, you know you can depend on your neighbors and I think that the future looks really bright for us. Man, it's growing all the time. There's uh, tons of businesses popping up everywhere. Uh, we're running a uh, kombucha company right now. We're trying to get everything started up here, uh, keep everything flowing. You know, it's great. OKC is the new place to be. The economy is so good down here that I feel like you can be a newcomer here and you, it's like the American dream is here, you know? Yeah, so Oklahoma City is this really awesome place that has really remade itself over the last 20 years and there's wonderful things like Veg Fest and the canal going through downtown Oklahoma City and a whole new giant you know, convention center going in and professional basketball and things happening all the time with amazing food vendors like this person right here. Hi. Um, I love Oklahoma City. It's been developing. There's like lots of great stuff. Veg Fest has like amazing like Oklahoma City and like other places in Oklahoma vendors and yeah, it's just it's great. I grew up like more Oklahoma City area. Like I feel like going back there now, like it's way like there's so much more stuff, so many more food options. Like it's it's definitely developing. I think it's becoming a much like more like a much bigger city. So far, it's been amazing. <laughs> I'm looking for skate spots, but I ended up at this beautiful vegan festival, which is so awesome to see that they have all this good food right here. So I love it so far. How about you, Danny? No, yeah, I think it's really cool. I was happy to see this vegan festival. It's fun. It's something like that goes on in LA too. I didn't expect to see here also, and it's very cool. A little hot, but yeah, I love Oklahoma. People are very friendly, and I'm glad we randomly. Yeah, visited. everybody, everybody is so friendly here compared to where we're from. It's kind of like cutthroat, but out here it's nice.